um, what do you think of uh, Project One Way? And what's the best worst challenge that you've seen if you watch the show? I love Project One Way whenever I get a chance to watch it. I think it portrays how competitive the fashion industry is. It's very true that if you're a designer, one day you're out and one day, I mean, one day you're in and, and one, one day, day you're, you're out. out. But I think the That's challenge. That's because it's so competitive, right? It is very competitive because there are so many designers out there, and some people do the same kind of designs, and people are trying to compete with each other. Uh, who has the best designs and who's more creative? And fashion comes in and out so quickly. The trends come in and out so quickly that designers have to constantly keep up with the trends and be on their feet. To be ready to design something new and fresh for the audience, and in Project Runway, it captures how competitive that is. And for me, I think the best challenge that I've seen is when they start designing non-fabric clothing, and some people are comfortable with that, some people aren't. And I'm very big on showing fashion in a different light. People think of fashion as clothing, fabrics, but <laughs> You can show fashion in a different light, such as、um, through fashion sculpture or through non-fabrics.、Um, Alexander McQueen is a British designer that we most of us know, and he is well known for his unconventional、uh, designs and sharp statics.、Um, how much of a loss did the fashion world face when Alexander McQueen committed suicide? At the peak of his career, and how did the、uh, did that change the fashion landscape? I think it's a tragic thing that he suicided, but I think the biggest thing to take away from him as a designer is that he's always stayed true to himself.、Um, he's never really forgot his vision and who he is as a designer. His pieces are very unique, and you can see that in anything that he does. And to young designers, especially, I think we can take away that no matter what the trends are, as designers, we can never forget who we are and what our vision is and what we want our audience to capture. And what can we stand to learn from him? That never forget who you are as a designer. You, as a designer, you have a vision, and don't let anyone else take that away from you. As we mentioned earlier, of the camera. Um, it seems like、uh, they、uh, commercialize so much, you know, the fashion design world, and you feel like、uh, the the true art is lost. What do you think about that? I think that a lot of people think of designing nowadays as another way to make money.、Um, you see celebrities out there who are starting their own clothing line, but don't get me wrong, I love them. It's just Designing is not about making money. It's about the art of designing. And as a designer, I think that we have a message and a piece of us when we design a dress or a piece of ours. And I think it's very sad that some people just resort to designing and call themselves a designer because they want to make some money. Where's the art in that? And that's where I stand on that. I think. Designing people need to go back and capture the fact that it is a form of art, not another way to make money, and it's not just a business.、Uh, who do you think is the who is currently the best fashion designer in the market now, and why? Like I said before, I'm always going to stick to Anna Sui. <laughs> you ask me about any designer, I admire her so much. It's just her. Concept of visualizing and capturing her shoppers in her stores, or utilizing the colors and patterns—they're so delicate, they're in intricate, and they're detailed. And her pieces, for me especially, they speak to me. And I feel like when I look at her piece, she is a true designer who is doing a form of art when she's designing. So by looking at her work, you do you feel a sense of、uh, relation? Do, do you, you you relate to that? Yes, absolutely.、Um, I think that 
when I wear a piece of hers or when I go shopping in her store, I feel like every piece she put a part of herself in it or just there's a certain emotion that comes with every piece. It's not just what comes with the trend. It's something that you know is from her and her own design and her vision.